So it's about 4 a.m. No, 5 a.m. It's 5 a.m. Um, we are about to uh, fly some Lukla to start our climbing to base camp, and it is nuts, chaos. Okay, so you can't really see this, but we're currently hiking over a massive ravine. Maybe the other side. Yeah, that's a bit better. biggest pot of chai. Beautiful little town, relatively easy hike, I guess, like three or four hours with a little bit of lunch, but it's kind of a get used to it day, so I'm sure it's going to get much harder. Um, and our lodge is the only one without electricity, which is also going to be fun. So, uh, romantic candlelit dinner for, uh, for the group of us tonight. But um, yeah, it's lovely. It's starting to get a bit dark now because it's like five o'clock. Um, but yeah, pretty great first day, I'd say. Also, I should say, um, I haven't taken any photos yet. Um, part of the point of this whole vlog is uh, photography uh, but there's a good reason for that a because we haven't really got high enough for it to be worth it yet uh, and also because uh, it pissed it down with rain for almost the whole afternoon and I couldn't be bothered to get my camera out so um, instead uh, I just shot all this video on my iPhone which is why uh, the quality of it is probably not terrific uh, I have actually got my proper camera well, a couple of cameras with me but uh, the quality might improve tomorrow if the weather does we'll see much hyped bridges on the base camp trek but I'll be honest it's, it's a pretty cool bridge
So it's a beautiful day in Namche Bazaar. Uh, we got here last night, but um, I was too exhausted to do any filming or anything. Pretty much just had dinner, flopped into bed. Um, but as you're going to see in a minute, the clouds are broken. I can actually see some mountain. I think today's going to be a pretty good hike. So, uh, oh, and as promised, I used the good camera because uh, it's not pissing with the rain. So, um, for your viewing pleasure, uh, let's hike. First glimpse of Everest, although it's behind a load of cloud, but I think I'm going to take an image here. Yeah. So, uh, I think it's going to get better tomorrow, but in case it doesn't, get a couple of shots and see how they come out. So this guy has been building this road since 1984. Single-handedly, apparently. It's pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. <laughs> I'm never going to complain about my back again. Hacking is 25 feet. Yeah. sunrise pictures of the mountains. I say we. I've woken up. Most people are tucked up in bed. But the, um, the view is going to be pretty incredible, I think. Um, so, I've taken a few images. Um, not sure it's going to be anything I'm massively happy with, but um, we had a clear morning, so it was definitely worth getting up and seeing what we could get. Um, we might get some clear weather later in the week, we'll see. Um, it's slightly frustrating because where we are in the mountains, we don't get quite the view of Everest that I would like. Um, and also, like you can't move around quite enough to get a really great composition for any of the other peaks. But I think we've got a couple of things which would be interesting, so um, see how they turn out. And uh, yeah. See what we get later in the week. So the hike today takes us uh, down a little bit and then essentially up for about four or five hours, slowly, not, not hard climbs like we've had the last few days, up to Dingboche. Uh, and it's currently really nice and sunny, as you probably can see, 
but uh, although we've dipped below the tree line now uh, it's going to get cloudy again and it's going to be uh, I think possibly a bit wet and miserable later so making the most of the sun and the glorious view that we're currently getting of like four of the peaks it's amazing <laughs>